Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dan and if you are new here, I am someone who is going to, as of July 2022, uh, which is in a couple months, be on a cruise ship. I'm going to be working on a cruise ship. I'm going to be crew uh, for the first time. It'll be my first time uh, being on a cruise ship. It'll be my first time being a crew member uh, on a cruise ship and I am really, really looking forward to it. So given that it is my first time, probably many of you have been on cruise ships, maybe some of you even worked on cruise ships in different capacities. I've been giving it a lot of thought, obviously. Uh, what's gonna happen? Am I gonna like it? Am I gonna have fun? Uh, am I gonna meet great people? So on and so forth. In your experiences, you've probably been thinking the same thing. So <laughs> given that it's my first time, um, I decided to make this video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the top five things uh, that I am considering will be uh, my most favorite things that I'm looking forward to. So it's a little bit of conjecture. Uh, obviously, it's all kind of hyperbole, nothing that I really know that's coming, but things that I'm expecting and things that I'm really looking forward to. So we're gonna start off at number five and work our way down to one. So my top five or my first of five <laughs> that I'm most looking forward to uh, working on a cruise ship is doing a good job. Now I know that sounds maybe a little corny, a little cliche, maybe a little cheesy or whatnot, uh, but it's true. Obviously I will be working on a ship that is my first and foremost responsibility. Uh, sure there's travel and there's a whole bunch of other things in and incorporated with that, but I'm going to be working on the ship and I want to be able to do a good job. Uh, why? Well, because I want to <laughs> enjoy my time. Uh, given that working on the cruise is going to be, you know, like 90% of the <laughs> of my responsibility and business on there, uh, well, next to 100, I guess, percent, uh, is that I'm going to be working. So I'm going to have to be able to learn everything quickly uh, through the training and, of course, the, the weeks and months that I'm going to be working there day in and day out for multiple hours a day. I want to be able to be good at the job, obviously, do a good job, enjoy it, and have a good time while doing it. So not only being good at the job will allow me to enjoy my time, but it will also allow me to interact with everyone better. Obviously, you know, the different crew, uh, the guests. I do have a hospitality background. The tourism industry is, you know, kind of bouncing back after uh, the pandemic and whatnot. So I'm really looking forward to the dynamic of how things have kind of changed post-pandemic. Of course, being never being on a cruise ship before, I don't know how it was like before. But now that I can be on the ship pre-pandemic, I can kind of see how the ebb and flows have changed. So given that I do have a background in the tourism industry, and I really like the customer service side of the tourism industry, uh, it has allowed me many experiences, and now that it is my chosen industry, I want to be able to do a good job in it. And the cruise uh, side of the tourism industry is very new uh, to me, so I want to be able to learn as much as I can, apply what, that I've, what I've learned, and hopefully turn that into you know future endeavors and whatnot, whether that be a second contract with uh, with the cruise line or you know other avenues that may open up. So that was the fifth one. Let's get into the fourth one. So the fourth thing that I'm most looking forward to of joining the cruise ship as a crew member is the people, uh, the guests and other crew. Well, as far as guests goes, of course, you know, we'll get all walks of life and whatnot in the different ports that we'll be embarking and disembarking um, on and off from, but also the crew. Uh, the crew, of course, will have varied backgrounds, varied experiences, uh, and obviously great insight. Obviously, some of them will have probably years experience ahead of me, so they'll be able to impart that knowledge onto me and give me tips and pointers for moving forward and obviously excelling uh, in the role and also learning about the many different jobs that the crew uh, will do um, in terms of like housekeeping, engineering, uh, facilities management, uh, guest services, all the way up to, you know, the captain of the ship, the, the cruise director, even the corporate side, the people who are um, on land, they're off board, um, handling the back end of everything. I'm sure I'll meet uh, lots of different hiring managers and recruiters. Uh, and different staffers and whatnot. And I'm really looking forward to uh, connecting with as many people uh, as I can. I really love networking. It's one of the things that I really like to do um, in my pastime. Unfortunately, the pandemic has not really allowed for a lot of that, but I am someone who likes to go to different uh, networking events, uh, learn different things, connect with different people and grow and learn off each other from there. So being on a cruise ship, if I'm going to be, for lack of a better word, stuck with some of these people for, for six months uh, being the crew, 
uh, that I'll have to, you know, build some camaraderie and, and morale with all of them. Really looking forward to that team building. And of course, obviously, the guests, the guests come first um, on the boat. So taking care of them, facilitating their needs, anticipating needs uh, and whatnot, and learning at the same time, because some of these serial cruisers will be able to uh, impart some of their knowledge onto me and what I can be aware of and whatnot going forward. So that's number four. All right, so before we get into the top three, how about you pause the video, take a moment, go down into the comments and tell me or what you think would be my top three that I'm most looking forward to of working on a cruise ship. I'll give you a couple seconds and then unpause the video and come right back up here and we'll get into number three. So the third thing that I'm most looking forward to uh, being on a cruise ship is working out. Exercise is a very big part uh, of my life, and I'm hoping that the crew gym on board is pretty sufficient for what I need. I don't need a whole lot, but as long as I've got a few things, I'm really looking forward to uh, staying fit and keeping my exercise uh, regimen up over the six months that I will be there. Now, I understand I'm going to be working um, long and awkward hours and whatnot, but I also understand there's a little bit of free time and whatnot, and during that free time, I'd either like to be eating something, working out, uh, shooting blogs, sleeping, or maybe off port if, if I'm lucky enough, but I really want to be able to keep my workout routine uh, strict, watch what I'm eating as much as I can, and just keep active as much as I can uh, as well. I don't want to be too lazy, and I don't want to uh, either gain a ton of weight or waste the weight, but I know that on a cruise ship it's not always the easiest thing, so I've heard and so I have researched. But as long as there's a gym on board, I plan to be there um, as much as I can. So number two, uh, the second biggest thing that I'm looking forward to working on a cruise ship is, this is actually a little bit of an odd one, is sleeping. <laughs> uh, so now I know that, like I said in the previous uh, mentions, that uh, the schedule will be long, the days will be long, uh, probably awkward hours and, and whatnot. I've heard some from a lot of people that if you get uh, six hours on a cruise ship, you're pretty lucky. <laughs> now, I'm someone who can operate uh, on, on less than eight hours. But however, I've been doing that for years and it's not really working for me uh, anymore. I would very much like to get on a bit of a different sleep schedule, have the uh, circadian rhythms uh, match up a little bit better than they have been over previous years. So I'm hoping that being on a ship, I don't know why I assume that that would change anything, but I'm hoping that it actually will. Uh, being in a cabin with a window or, or without, um, I really like a dark room. You're gonna have to tell me if uh, it's quite loud on the ships. I don't know uh, if how much of the ship itself you can hear, how much of the outdoors you can actually hear. If I'm gonna have to wear earplugs, no problem. Sleep mask, no problem. I can pretty much do that anyway. So, uh, but I'm really looking forward to having deep, uh, relaxing sleep. And uh, this is me as a hope. Uh, this is not a guarantee or something that I assume is going to happen, but I'm hoping it can happen. Just kind of being away from everything um, in the sense of not being on land. I guess I don't know if that really makes sense, but um, hopefully the, uh, the flow of the boat will kind of rock me to sleep and allow me to sleep uh, quite well and quite deep. That's what I'm looking forward to. And all of you are probably laughing and thinking, yeah, like that's ever gonna happen. Okay, we made it down to number one, but before we get there, obviously there's a whole bunch of things that I'm looking forward to of being on the ship. I can't just narrow it down to five. There are a few honorable mentions that I would like to mention, and one of those is port days. Now, as much as I am looking forward to the travel aspect of being on board, I'm not guaranteed uh, to get off the ship. Um, it more or less depends on you know the role that I have, um, the amount of work that needs to be done, who's selected to stay behind, and of course the whole pandemic thing. If I'm just, if crew just isn't allowed off the ship on, on port days, then obviously not really much I can look forward to. Of course it's an added bonus, but I'm not giving it to myself as a guarantee. And although I am looking forward to it, like I said, it won't be much of a guarantee. So I'll just kind of have to take those days as they come and make the most of them. Another honorable mention, uh, something that a lot of you may have experienced if you are, have been a cruise ship crew member before, is the crew parties. Now, I'm not much of a partier, but I do like uh, to uh, mingle and network. Uh, as I said, get to know people. I'm not someone who really wants to kind of 
drink too much and then be hung over for my full day of work the next day because there are no days off. You don't get a recovery period <laughs> uh, unless I just feign being sick. The crew parties, from one way or another, yes, I am definitely looking forward to them because it's another way to obviously meet everyone who's on board from the different departments and, and whatnot. Uh, and just learn more about um, cruise life. However, it didn't make my top five because it's not something that's just going to be the be all end all for me if I miss a party or three. Not to say that I won't attend as many as I can. Okay, and the third honorable mention before we jump into number one is guest access. Uh, or guest access areas, rather. Um, at being a crew, I still want to be able to see what the guest sees. Uh, not entirely. I know, you know I'm not going to have full access to uh, whatever they have access to. But obviously, you know, the different decks and whatnot, the different restaurants, uh, maybe some of the um, uh, the guest rooms and whatnot, some of the things that they get to experience, I want to be able to see for myself. If I can see more of the ship, that allows me to talk more about the ship and feel confident about my role while on board and be able to convey that to the guest as well. So I'm really looking forward to that. It is an honorable mention because it's not a guarantee that I'll have access to all these things that all the guests might, but it would be a nice perk to be able to experience those things so that I can share them all the same. And the number one thing that I'm most looking forward to being on the ship, let's see if you are right in the comments, is vlogging and making these videos, sharing my experiences uh, with you and letting you in on all the things that I'll be experiencing during my time on board. And of course, creating uh, memories uh, for myself as well. All the recording and all the uploading and whatnot that I'll be doing, it'll be here for you as information and then for me uh, as a memory as well. So that's the one, number one thing I'm most looking forward to, getting to know everything all together, but then creating these experiences and putting them in vlogs for you and then viewing them at any time at your leisure pleasure and mine all the same. So I hope you enjoyed my top five things that I'm most looking forward to uh, being on a cruise ship as a crew member. I can't wait. I'm so excited. And of course, if you have any tips, any suggestions, or maybe you disagree with some of the things that I may have said or shared, pop into the comments and we'll see you in the next one.